Sam miał odleczenia. Jest. Jego moi mają młody męski mańcy, tak? Od S do XL. Uh, what should I say? I mean, we're gonna go out, play hard. <laughs> you know, do what we gotta do. We're gonna fight. We had a tough game yesterday, but it showed character and we grew a lot as a team and we have to keep growing as a team. You're playing consecutive European champion, which is not in good shape this, uh, this season. So uh, do you think you have a bigger chance now or do you just look your, on yourself team? Just because a pit bull is not in good shape, it will still bite the shit out of you. So you gotta just go there prepared and you gotta know what you're dealing with because they got a talented group, uh, talented guys and they're veterans and they know how to play together. So we have to just go there and fight and listen to what coach says and do what we gotta do. Uh, physical and mental spending, I forgot the word, from yesterday's game. Of the team, do you think you'll be able to recuperate and recover? I mean, this is part of the game. This is part of what we do. It's part of our job. We have to find ways to recover and give good performances as a team. Um, we've been able to do that some this season. I mean, we have a young team, so that helps. But in general, it's really about mental, going in there and being focused on what we need to focus on tactical-wise to do what we need to do. Play with Vasa Mitic and Shane Larkin, they for their recoveries. How much does that make the game tougher, you know, for you knowing they are two of the best guards in Europe? I mean, it seems like everybody's hurt, and then when we play against them, they have a full roster. So it's like that all the time with us. So we're preparing for the full roster. I mean, they're a tough team, like we said, and we're preparing for them to be in full strength, and we have to go out there and fight and do what it takes to win. Look at what our other teams doing right now. You're in a big group of teams. Everybody's fighting for that spot. Do you look at other results? I mean, I personally don't look at I'm, I'm too focused in on what our team has to do. Uh, it's too much going on day to day. We have a lot of games this month, and we have to just focus on what we're doing as a group. I mean, because at the end of the day, that's what's going to depend on for us to be where we want to be. Is being postponed for April. How much can that mean you, to you and the team? You know, to have one one game less in this hell of a March schedule. I mean, it, it helps most definitely. I guess recovery-wise, if to think about it. But honestly, we're gonna be ready regardless. So we just gotta just keep on doing what we gotta do, preparing and taking everything game by game, and just trying to get better. What's with the masters? It's uh, contagious, you know. Everybody have a masters. Uh, if we keep winning, I think uh, maybe coach will get one too. <laughs> so FS uh, consecutive European champion, which is not in great shape this season. Yeah, it's a very, very experienced team, very good team. It doesn't matter. We have seen in Euroleague that everybody can beat everybody. You can lose from everybody. Uh, it's a very difficult game, away game, very important game for us. We understand uh, the game and we'll go give everything like every time. FS will probably, probably play with Shane Larkin and Vasa Misi, they are recovered. How much does that make the game you know, tougher for you? Yeah, I mean, uh, they are two elite players. They are control the game for them and they make uh, uh, score or create most of their opportunities uh, offensively. Uh, you know, I think it doesn't really uh, uh, change the way we'll proceed for the game uh, as far as uh, concentration, as far as uh, effort. Uh, we need to go fight and give everything and uh, uh, whoever plays, you know, uh, we need to adjust and, uh, you know, follow scouting report. You are very close to top eight, things are, you know, going well. I think you're in sixth position now. How does that look from the team perspective? Are you having more pressure, you know, being, tracing that top eight in this hell of a schedule you have in March? 
Yeah, we have a hell of a schedule, uh, like you said, uh, and different uh, difficult games and with top teams uh, in the league, top teams that are higher in the standings than us, a lot of them. Uh, you know, it's very challenging and uh, we're happy to be in this spot. We're happy that, uh, you know, uh, we enjoy this uh, process. And uh, we hope, you know, uh, when the regular season finishes, we're in uh, the first uh, eight spots, which uh, will make us play playoffs. And this will be very important for us, for the club, I think, uh, the fans, everybody. Do you follow the other team results, you know, in the top eight standings? Do you watch how other teams are playing? Knowing... Oh, yeah. Yeah, immediately. Immediately when we finish game, you will just check, you know, who is doing well, who is close to you, and what are they doing, and what is their schedule look like. But, you know, this is secondary. Most important is to focus on us, to uh, try to be in the best shape that we can, give our maximum effort, and uh, I think results of other teams will take care of itself, and we need to focus on ourselves. There is no yesterday in basketball and sports, but one day after sleep, uh, sleep night of sleep, uh, how do you see last night's game and uh, that amazing comeback? There is no yesterday, <laughs> like you say. No, no, it's 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 amazing. You know, it's amazing win, and and it's more amazing to see what it means for fans. And uh, we're very happy that they come here to support us. And you know, we came back from this deficit, and and uh, you can see how uh, what it means for them. So it is very satisfying. But job didn't finish, and obviously the next game is always more important. And uh, we need to focus on now, on present. I think it's not only in basketball, but also in life. Present is more important, so we're happy for this, but it's already in the past. Željko je u malo drugačijem ambijentu ispred novog partizanovog šopa, ispred arene. Juče je bila velika pobeda u derbiju, već preko sutra utakmica protiv aktuelnog dvostrukog pravaka Evrope. Kako se pripremiti? Da, dvostruki pravak Evrope imaju večeras utakmicu protiv Reala za ostalu. Ono što je bitno to je da su im se povređeni igrači vratili, pre svega Vasa, Micić i Larkin koji su apsolutno najvažniji igrači u tom timu. Informacija je da također Boboa se oporavio, tako da će igrati u kompletnom sastavu. Što je naravno uvijek dobro da imate za protivnika jednu tako sjajnu ekipu koja je zadnje dve godine bila prvak Evrope. Činjenica da su oni u situaciji u kojoj se oni nalaze, u kojoj smo mi, je prosto nevjerovatna na neki način. Ali eto, dešavale su se povrede. Kako god moramo da probamo da spremimo na najbolji mogući način i da probamo da igramo neku normalnu utakmicu. Sigurno će biti motivisani, vidjeli smo već izjave trenera Atamana koji je rekao da je za njih ta utakmica protiv nas ključna. U svakom pogledu da je čak mnogo važnija od ove utakmice koji igraju večeras sa Realom, tako da mislim da će i njihov način pripreme i za ovu utakmicu i tu utakmicu u četvrtak protiv nas biti upravo u tom smislu da će želeti najbolje moguće od igre protiv nas. Koliko pobjeda u derbiju može da donese igračima to neko dodatno samopouzdanje pred tako bitan meč kao što je? Svaka pobjeda donosi samopouzdanje, utakmica je mnogo ove godine kao što znate, način na koji smo juče počeli utakmicu kako smo završili sigurno dovolje do toga da igrači veruju u sebe i sad ćemo pričati o tome, ali fokus će biti na ovo što je ispred nas. Znači, kao i uvek, zaboravljamo šta je bilo, idemo dalje, pokrećemo se narednoj utakmici. Čuli ste da je odložena utakmica protiv budućnosti, da li vam to dodatno vreme za odmor znači ili vas izbacuje iz ritma, kako to izgleda? 
Pa mi ćemo probati sigurno da osvežimo ekipu. Igrali će dobiti slobodno, bez ikakve dileme. Posle utakmice u Istanbulu daći im taj vikend. Ja mislim da će dobro da ne dođe. I dobra je stvar što posle toga igramo tek u petak proti Olimpijakusa. Znači imat ćemo sigurno četiri dobra treninga. Ponedljak, utrak, sveda, četvrtak. U tom ritmu nismo trenirali, ja ne pamtim od kad. Ali s druge strane, posle toga imamo taj paklani program. Jel da je u sedam dana četiri utakmice ili ti u deset pet. Tako da sav tak program koji je opšte poznat. Olimpijakos, Olimpija, Barcelona, Real, FNP... To nas čeka, tako da treba iskoristati četiri dana da se, odnosno ovaj prvi vikend da se osvježimo i posle toga da treniramo najbolje moguće. Nikto ne treba bude s kamerom.